Why, hello, everyone. Welcome to Playframe. Hello. And welcome to Seven Days to End with You. This is a sponsored episode, actually, brought to you by the folks at PlaySim and Lizardry, who would like you to know that this game is out today on Switch. You can find a link right down in the description to the uh, North American eShop, where you can go and get this game for yourself if you'd like. It's also available on Steam and mobile if you don't have a Switch. Now, normally I do sponsored episodes solo by myself, but I kind of felt like I could maybe use a little bit of help with this one. Carrie, I'm very glad that you've decided to join me because uh, this game is a bit of a visual novel, but also a puzzle one involving language. And recently you've been an enormous help with games which involve puzzles and language. Yes. And I really don't want to go into this alone. So that's there were two things. Well, I guess three things that excited me, the puzzles and language thing. And also, do you see how cute she is? Look at her. <laughs> there is also that aspect uh, as well. And and I read seven days to end with you, meaning like seven days to end up with her. I don't know if that's what it's going to be, but I have hope. Yeah, I actually don't know either. I've like, I've not played this, but I'm very curious to uh, get a look at it here. So Me let's too. see what we get into. The, the premise, I suspect, will become pretty clear pretty fast. So begin. New game. You are an observer of this story. You are free to perceive the meaning of the words you read. The relationship between the two characters is built on the words you interpret. And their story is also built on the words you interpret. <laughs> their world will change according to your understanding. Maybe it's a short, ordinary story, or maybe it's a long, peculiar story. You will become one of the characters and interfere with the story, and the story will be completed according to your interference and interpretation. Every story you feel, every story you interpret, is correct. This is a short and long story of only seven days. <laughs> and here we go. I wake up and find myself lying in bed. I don't feel too good. I open my eyes and my blurry vision gradually clears. There's a stranger leaning against my bed. <gasps> well, here we go, okay. The uh, name is difficult to decipher. As is the rest. <laughs> so this is the premise. Um, you don't know the language of this game <laughs> at all. So uh, you just kind of have to interpret what they're saying and try to start, like, figuring out maybe what they mean. Oh, boy. And just start kind of uh, reading into it as best you can. Um, so. Wait, I'm just looking really quick for similarities between the name and the text, but I don't yeah. see any yet. Not yet. <laughs> We're definitely in tunic solve language mode. Oh, yes, we are. A little bit. <laughs> Which again is why I wanted you in here because I needed help with that. Oh um, boy. So I don't know. Do we do we silent or do we or are we choosing their response here? Actually, I'm not sure. I think we're choosing what they say. Okay. But I could be wrong. I'd love to see what words give us. Hmm. Oh. Oh, we've collected the word. I guess it's added to our little library. Click on it. Okay. Oh, can't. Oh. Wait. What? Okay. So. Recall the beginning. Okay, I think this is taking us back to the maybe like the moment where we encounter the word. Okay. And uh, here is where we can make a guess <gasps> at what that word is. Ah! It's very cool. Sorry. I don't have an idea what that word is yet. That's fine. We'll wait. <laughs> we'll get there. <laughs> so, um. So. Hmm. Oh. oh. Hmm. Hmm. Do the longer one. Okay. So we've got these both added here. One of those is in the name. The first character. Oh, yeah. Or the first symbol set in. Okay. All right. Yeah, we've got these both added in now. Very interesting. Yeah, I'm starting to see some symbols repeat so okay oh this is the first word the we saw word yeah? yeah okay well, i think we've like yeah they're asking me something in a language i don't know 
Hmm. Respond with gestures. Uh. <laughs> okay, so so this is. I thought I was like selecting options here, but no, that's not the case. I'm. This is just an opportunity to like, hey, here's individual words. Add them to your notebook. Uh, oh. Like examine that sort of thing, oh. and then I think I can proceed by going forward. Okay. Now I. Yeah. 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 Okay. She seems amused, at least, so that's something. Or happy. Or happy. Hmm. Name. That's her. Her name. Yeah. That is her name. Okay. Mm. We could just enter that. Like, I don't think it has to... We can say her name? Yeah, sure. Sure. Uh... Just so we've got that in place. Also, because I'm curious what will happen. What does oh. that do? Oh, what impression does the word leave? That's cool, too. Um. So we could also, like, uh, if we wanted with some of the other words that were associated with the, like, positive, like, sort of happy or laughing response, we could affix a color to, like, yeah. happy, angry, sad, that sort of thing. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Is that a... Is that a... D6? With the four facing up? Is that what we're looking at when you click on that? Uh, I'm not sure. It... Or is the, it just... Yeah, like, when I click on that... More uh, symbols that we don't know the meaning of. I think that is, yeah, that's like pulling up and affixing, like, a, uh, a but color. But it, it's not meant to say, this is a D6 with the four facing up. I it's, don't think so. It's like a little tag and the four dots are the same as the four dots on the box that says her name right now. I think so, yes. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. That's okay. <laughs> Interpreting even the UI. Yeah. This game, by the way, is a is from a small, uh, like a Japanese indie team who I think has only made a couple of mobile games before this that I'm not even sure got uh, released outside of Japan. Uh, so mm. there's just a small and fairly young team, but a really cool concept. So I'm, I am, yeah. yeah, this is... <laughs> I am... Very excited, and I appreciate that. Yeah, our guesses can show up there in the. Uh... Yeah, that's that's actually great. Yeah. Dot dot dots, and I'm guessing this can be our response to that. Ooh. Hmm. I mean, I don't know how we could respond in a language we don't understand. It's very true. All we could do is like make noises. Ooh. What's that middle one? What is that middle one? That one's fancy. That middle one looks like, um, like a, a ship that you would fly in like an old Atari game. <laughs> There's like the little, uh, the second character in that's repeated as the fourth character in. Yeah. And I'm wondering if the, uh, like, I'm not mm. sure that necessarily the language is meant to be interpret it as an actual like readable language it could be that this is just sort of like these are just a lot of symbols and the really important thing is just that you are trying to interpret based on context what maybe any of it means but it's still like very huh. cool or maybe it is readable heck who knows um hmm it's yeah it's hard to really know what to do with it right now in this context but yeah, I think as we get further in, we'll maybe understand more. It seems like we're de to me. It definitely feels like we are just sort of very confusedly trying back and forth, <laughs> but both recognizing, uh oh, this is going to be difficult. <laughs> I don't think we can understand each other. <laughs> hmm. So here, since we've got another kind of like bemused or yeah. happy face let's you want to choose a color to associate with those uh yeah let's you want to go with like green as a happy or uh sure yeah okay and same with this one how did you remember oh that's the one we just saw yeah yeah and it, the... and it pops right to it as well so we could probably go back and check the other ones. 
to see where it was that we had that happy face before. It was like the second or third thing she said. It's probably true. Like, let's see if Couldn't I... Couldn't you replay them based on when we first saw them? Um, oh yeah, I guess that's a good point. Hang on. Like, yeah, let me, uh, so if I click on that, that one looks like it's, like the brows are a little more uplifted, like it's sort of a, uh, Like a little bit of a worried. Yeah, a little confused or worried or something. Or like, even sympathetic. Interesting, and these three are kind of, uh, bunched together. What do you mean? Like, I can kind of go back and forth between these three, uh, sets of words. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Um. Well, let's see. I don't have to go and, like, color code all these necessarily, but, no. like, I'd be game for, let's say... Kind of a, a gray color for that? Yeah, a little more gray for the worry. Yeah. Maybe? Hmm. Or concern. Yeah. Interesting. Hmm. Oh. Oh, wow. All right. Hello. Um. Let's see. Let's... Hmm. Anything yeah, you want to look book. at? a book. A book. Just pick up a book. Hmm, okay. I was hoping we would get... Hmm. Something clearer from that. Something happy and something her name. Maybe something she likes? I mean, <laughs> this doesn't mean happy. <laughs> she was just happy at the time, so who knows. Um, what about the sky? Outside? The sky, yeah, or the clouds. Oh! The stranger leaves through the door. I couldn't understand a word they said. Oh, no. Oh, I guess they left through the door Door over there. I know, but, yeah. but I made them leave. <laughs> eh, Laura, they were going to anyway. I don't even understand anything about myself. My memories, they're gone. It's probably amnesia. And every part of my body hurts. Did I get involved in some kind of accident? Did a foreigner find me and take care of me while I was unconscious? Since I don't know what's going on, I might have to rely on them for now. Yeah. Hmm, well, we can Maybe look around. Maybe the amnesia is so bad that we've even lost language. Hmm. Pretty. Looks like a seaside. Yeah. Tap, 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 tap. Ooh. Ooh. Hang ooh, on. Ooh, ooh. Oh, that's exciting. Wait. Uh, this, I assume, this feels like calendar, yes? Yeah, it looks a lot like a calendar to me. Granted, we've got some repeating... Um, the second, the, the first row, second column, that word, if you go down to the third row, it's the lower word repeated over and over again all that week. Yeah... Interesting. It, yeah, and the pattern holds true that, like, this all the way across the row uh -huh. and uh, this all the way down at the top of the column. Hmm. Very interesting. Is that how they... One, two, three, four, five, six, Maybe seven. Maybe it's not a calendar then. Might not be, no. Because if you go across, like, it, it's, um, it looks like one of those logic puzzles where you have to figure out who came in fourth in the race, and they tell you, like, Tim came in after Susie, and mm. Janice was the first, and, and I don't know, Thea yeah, was It's more just like a table, after, like a, that, uh, of yeah. where these different things overlap. Hmm. I wish I could remember what those logic puzzles were called. Interesting. Anything else we can get into, or should we follow outside? What's that golden thing right in front of you? Golden thing. Right in front of the camera. Yeah. I think this might be like a bed. Oh, okay. Sorry. Quite all right. Ooh, there's a little letter by the books on the table closest Ooh. to us. Ah, good Ooh. spot. Okay, okay, okay. Idea? Uh. Puzzle? Hand? There's an old note in between the pages. So yeah, this seems like think idea or think or something and this seems like gift 
Ooh, forgive? give. Let's, yeah, let's, let's call that one give. Let's call that one give. We can also put question marks for ones that we're not sure. Yeah. Or some other symbol, if we'd like. Yeah, I think question mark is good, because, yeah, it's a good call. We can add that to her name as well. I mean, her name, we know it's her name. True, right? true. So it's not like a question mark, it's a different kind of guess. Do I just want to give her a name? <laughs> nah. Nah, stick with that. Her name, ah, hey, don't delete it. I mean... I think this works pretty well for now. Because she's got a name, we shouldn't just give her one. I guess that's true. There we go. Okay. And think? I yeah. Idea? Question? There's so many possibilities that one could be. But maybe thought is a good one to use for now. Yeah, let's go with thought question mark. Neat. Okay. There we go. Wait, with question mark. I appreciate that they offer like an autofill option. So you don't have yeah. to type everything out painstakingly. There we go. Okay. All right. Started kind of getting mm. something here. Good. Excellent. Mm. Need more little useful tidbits. Yeah. Oh, city. Neat. Okay. Alrighty. Hmm. Well, let's go outside. Check under the carpet. Carpet. Nope. Okay. Nope. Oh, okay. So that's this room. There's what about? Steps. There's several There's... others. Do we yeah. Do step? Yeah. Where do we go? No, nah, we we should investigate a little bit down here first, right? I think so. Poke all the things. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. A mirror. It's shattered, so I can't see myself very well. Oh. That's so cool, though. What a clever idea. Yeah. Yes, check door. <gasps> plants! Hey. Plants! Plants! Oh. oh, yay! They're cute. Hmm. Do you have any words hidden anywhere, plants? Doesn't seem like. Hmm. Uh, this one. Locked. Ah. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, Did you click on the drawers underneath the flower? Uh, okay. yeah. Then steps next. Steps. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, poison. Science room. <laughs> Chemistry, I suppose, is the official term. I just went straight to the little bottle on the lowest shelf. Wait. Ooh. Hmm, okay. Click a box. Mm. Oh, no. All right. <laughs> it's a note that just says, ah. <laughs> Wait, why is there a rib cage on the floor? Um. Um. Science, come on. Chemistry. I'm a little worried. Ooh, here's words. A little worried about the rib cage on the floor. Seems like a little. It's like a list, basically. Or like things a to table. combine. Yeah. Yeah, another table mm. of some kind. Two slightly different ones. Hmm. Oop. Ah. Uh. Ooh. Pretty, though I don't know what Neat. is. Wait. Oh, right. It's just showing that you're interacting. It's yeah. not revealing anything by getting slightly darker. Huh. I bet that has something to do with how we came to this world or wherever. Maybe. Or maybe not. Um. Yeah, that, that little thing in the jar has me a little worried too. That and the rib cage. Hmm. That's probably the symbol that was carved on the wall, right? I think so. That's kind of what it looked like. Yeah. Yeah. Even though a lot of it's kind of lost and hidden? Yeah. Hmm. Do they all have... Oh, they do all kind of have that uh, symbol. Uh, yeah. Do you think it's a map? Like Maybe. there's something that looks kind of like a little house in the top, or in the 
the first circle on the right hand side, the yeah. top circle. But the Hard rest of it doesn't it's really look like things. All pretty scribbly, yeah. Got some more words though. Um Ah, there you Ooh. are. Hello. Oh, she does not look bemu amused. Wait, is there a fire and then a little baby fire? A little tiny fire for cooking, I guess, but still. Oh, I guess that makes more sense than it being a little fire for, like, a mouse. <laughs> <laughs> Only slightly more sense, yes. <laughs> I thought maybe there was someone very small who lives here who needed a fire as well. A little one. Yeah. So, um, how are you doing? Puck. Hello. So, uh, don't know if it's the same words again. I know that one is. But I think it is. Yeah, that one's definitely the same. This one, I think, is the same, too. Um, I mean, it seems like she's asking if we're hungry. That's my context guess, at least. Is like, she's asking us a question, and she's sitting near food at a table. Yeah. And we just woke up. Hmm. Hmm. She seems to feel similarly to us. <laughs> food. Uh, do you want food? Uh? <laughs> that might be what she's doing. <laughs> Possibly. Uh. Hmm. Uh. That still working um, on it. A bunch of symbols in that first word that are in her name. Yeah. Hmm. <sighs> Sorry, I'm just sort of on word collection right now, but yeah. keep talking. <laughs> oh, she's okay. gesturing to herself yes. now. Yes, okay, so... Maybe, like, name, it, like, name the word, or I am, or something like that. Me. Yeah. I think name the word might make the most sense. I feel like that. I like that too. Let's. Because uh, I and me are. Yeah, that's. Usually little... short. And. They're a thing you have to say a lot in most languages. So. Yeah. They're usually shorter. And these sentences all seem to be extremely short anyway. So it being kind of a collection of a few words that get the idea of the sentence out. Mm -hmm. Makes a lot of sense for the way that just the game is working. Uh, let's go with that. Is the oh pointing at us now? Name you. Yeah. Uh, or either she this is our name and she knows it and she's telling us, or more likely this is you. <laughs> we could say my name or we could say you I don't know which let's guess at you let's say you let's try that okay hmm she said that one before too yeah Hmm. Got nothing. Say G yes. Gesture approvingly. I wonder if this is something just like okay or confirm or like yes yeah. or sure or something like that. That's kind of what I'm thinking, but I I don't feel confident enough about it to yeah. necessarily put it in. Yeah, I agree. Like we'll we'll recognize it whenever it pops up, so like mm -hmm. we can keep on kind of. It's nice and short, so. Name. Name her name. Me. Mm -hmm. Oh, we said yes. We gestured affirmingly. Uh huh. And now she's repeating herself. So. Oh, uh, maybe that. Yeah. Maybe we should say no this time. <laughs> Right. Oh, maybe she's asking if we understand her. That 
uh, yeah, I think actually that make would make a lot of sense. Okay. Question. Question. Point and talk. I like that. I like that. Maybe. Yes, I like I like that thinking a lot. So. Question. I feel like we can or be more confident even about ask. this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, we'll, we'll leave it at a question mark there, because, yeah, we don't know the specifics yet, but we can start making some guesses, though. We also have 15 whole characters, so we can do something like question slash ask. That's true. Let's see. There's so many neat things we can do. I love this so far. This is really Just... cool, yeah. Question ask. Uh... Point or hand? Point? <laughs> but probably point, right? I like point as a guess, yeah. And... Talk is almost certainly that one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I feel like we don't even need a question mark on that one. I feel like we can guess yeah. pretty confidently at talk there. We can always go back and readjust it if we're wrong. Yeah. Mm, um, something talk something that's that same word again oh, that the longer middle one? one yeah mm. I think I think it's the same one we've seen several times now point question ask oh point to something and ask what it is oh Her okay cup. Point question ask. They're not a good artist, but they're telling me something with pictures. <laughs> this should help me understand the language. Let me remember what they said earlier. You know, Ooh. that made a good point. I've been calling this person a her. Maybe we should switch to they. Works for me. When have they said this word before? Their name? Yeah. They've said it when they pointed at. And actually, while we're at it, we'll go ahead and yeah. do that as well. Uh, it's right above six. Yeah, yeah just... Uh, Sorry. I'm trying to be helpful. There we go. Okay. When have they said it before? They've said it, like, pretty early on, I think. Yes. They've said it several times. Oh, okay, so this is this is popping up every time this word has come up in mm -hmm. yeah in the spot. Yeah, okay. Uh, nice. Okay. Remembering when which word is used should help me understand it. Mm -hmm. What meaning should I remember? That one I feel like we got. That one was easier. I feel like yeah, as long as we don't have to like lock it in now. Oh, yeah. I'll remember the words like this little by little. Yeah. It seems like the stranger wants to come with me. Maybe they'll help me learn the language. I'll take the opportunity to learn a few words from them. Since I don't remember anything, that's all I can for now. What should I do now? I mean... Mm. I want to start, like, creating a basic lexicon by, like... just pointing at objects or, or clicking on objects and figuring out like hold it up and her tell us the name them tell us the name for it I feel like that's a good like thing to start with even now let's yeah okay so that gets us some words and we don't need to really even agonize over specific ones all that often because I think we're just kind of adding to the collection at this point okay. but if we start recognizing any table Right. Mm. Flower, maybe? Try clicking on the things hanging from the ceiling, then. Above the fireplace. Mm. Different. Uh, fire. Fire. <laughs> ah! Mm, okay. I don't think they understand what I'm trying to do. They may not, but, uh... Hmm. You. Hmm. Hmm. It's 
smaller fire. Little fire, big fire. Well, you're coming with, so maybe you can explain some more things. Like, open? Mm. No, I guess not. Don't feel like... This is different. Oh, it's the oh, washroom. Oh, it's the washroom. Okay, I got it. Okay. Um, so what about the other door? I can't remember what's inside that. Oh, right, garden. Yeah. Will you teach us? Give? Hmm. Mm, what do you think? Yeah. Yes. Sure. Um. Did we get something? There's confirm maybe again and talk something. Oh. Um. Like. Seeds. Yeah, like seeds becoming. And thing. wheat. Yeah. Should or we... grain. Hmm. Should we try like making attachments to that or with these I don't, here? I don't know as if that's what. Yeah, I don't think that's. I don't think that's what's being indicated. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Something? Talk something? Hmm. No? They are probably like, who is this absolute idiot <laughs> who can't seem to do anything? Oh, uh, we're doing our best. Ooh. Oh. Maybe, maybe it's fertilizer. Maybe put it on the wheat. Yes. There we go. Now put it on the green plant. Also on green plant. And then take the water and put the water on the green plant. And then take the green jar and put it on the green plant. Did we do it? I think so, because they're excited. Or maybe we did it wrong, because they're worried looking. Um. Oh. Um. What? Not sure. Um. Maybe we did good. I'm gonna say we did good. Let's. Let's go to the science go to lab. The science lab and ask about the rib cage. <laughs> um. Ooh, maybe the notes. Maybe Ooh. if we poke at the notes. Yeah. What is this? No? All right, well, what about this? Look at all these words. What do they say? Hmm, okay. Uh, this got a reaction. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Click on that. Do you... Ooh. Ooh. It's your death note. <laughs> You've got your death note bound. That's very fancy. Ooh, more oh. things. Hmm. Hmm. Would would you click on the the photo on the wall again? Uh, yes. The third word uh -huh. there, it has a symbol in the middle that looks kind of like a face going, ah! Yeah. <laughs> and then it's got what looks a couple of symbols that look kind of like Fs, but upside down. Yeah. And then a circle. Yep. I think it says coffee. <laughs> I was wondering where you were going with that. I it think, feels like a little bit of a stretch, but... I think it says coffee. I'll trust your instincts. And not put it in the lexicon. I see. I see. <laughs> no. It's... <laughs> Not coffee. It's almost certainly not coffee. This seems like first aid. Yeah. Bandages and whatnot. 
Um, okay. But, whoop. but, what do we do with them? What are you up to with all this stuff? Hmm. Please, please help us understand your language. Anything. They look so worried. Oh. Oh. They're blushing now. You're feeling a little embarrassed, or... Oh. Are you feeling like a bit of a nerd having a lot of books about whatever this is? Um, maybe we should highlight that word in pink. Okay. Because it's... Point something something. Hmm. Okay, yeah, let's highlight that one in pink. Because it made them blush. So, pink is like blushing. Yeah. I like it. Hmm. Let's go back to here and see. Maybe this is their sweater or something? I guess. Jacket? Yeah? I don't know. That that depends on whether they're actually telling us what we're pointing at or not. True. I mean, I assume that's what's happening a lot of the time. It's just but we have no context for most of the rest of it or connective words to work with. It could be. But... Yeah. Um... Hmm. Hmm. Try the letter that we first found that has the drawings. Oh, yeah. Oh, actually, hang on. One thing I want to check on and see is other places this one's been used. Because you think it might be flower? Plants, I think you might be right. Or like flower. Maybe just plants in general. Well, oh. Oh, to water the plant. I think it might be like plant or something. Yeah. Yeah. I think plant is a good guess. All right, because, yeah, we've collected a lot now. Now we can start looking for common... Context. Yeah. yeah. And it may be more specifically flower. You might be right about that as well. Possibly so. There were some of those that seemed like just more plant-ish, but... uh. At least at this stage in their their growth. Yeah. Uh, and like that one's over here. Vase? Maybe. Maybe. Okay, yeah, that that I was a little concerned that maybe I was assigning plant to like the wrong word here, but that second one only applied to this one, whereas the first word applied to all these other plants elsewhere in the house. Mm. So yeah. But yeah, let's let's look at this thing. Hmm. Give you Hmm. Talk. And the word that she gets confused or stressed by. Hmm. <laughs> or that expression, anyway. Mm hmm. Hmm. Okay. This, maybe? Click on the sky. Or the clouds. Or the. Them, us, us, something. Hmm. Ah, little notebook thing. Ooh. Looks <gasps> like I can write something in here. Ooh. Oh. Go. Oh. Um. Hmm. What should we write? We need a name. Right? What's our name? Not sure. Hmm. Okay, well... I don't know what we should write. I was gonna say we should introduce ourselves. But if we don't even know our own name, then... Yeah. How can we do that? It's gonna be tricky. Uh... Da, 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 da. We could write, you're cute. <laughs> She'd never know what it said. I'm sorry, they'd never know what it said. True. Not unless we told them. (laughs) 
<laughs> there we are. <laughs> so, um... They look confused. Understandable. Neat, though. Yeah. You can do a little back and forth writing thing. Hmm. Oh, click on the city. Okay. Have we seen that word anywhere? A few places. Uh. Talk. Point? Hmm. Mm, I don't know what this location know. was or thing was, but yeah. All right, yeah, not got enough to work with on that one. But what, what about, about the other? Yeah, what about the other? Oh, we got that in a Something few. Something in here, too. and yeah, huh? Interesting. Yeah. How about the water? Water. No, no, out, out in the. Oh. Out the window. Water. No. No. Fine. Bah. Okay, what about this? That's that word that I've seen a whole bunch, I think. Ooh, okay. Glass? The, Picture? Uh... Cup? It's like a liquid container or something. Yeah. Yeah. What's the last one, the one in the science room? Kind of look like little jars or something. No, no, it's highlighting something behind the text box. Oh, is it? I thought I was highlighting the three red uh, little jars up there. Look at the pulsing bright color behind the text box. <laughs> it's true, but I don't think the pulsing is the thing that uh, is signifying what... But then why is it doing that? I think it might just be what the graphic of that looks like, but I may be wrong. Okay. But uh, we should go back to that room and see if it's just the pulsing is just a natural thing about how that looks, because I don't remember. Yeah, neither do I. But yeah, it seems to be a container. Yeah. Like a drink container. Yeah. In most of those, at least. There we go. Getting somewhere. Slowly but surely. Books. Wait, that is also on the... Uh, well, it's... Uh, <laughs> Also on this, it's that. Oh. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. I don't think I was taught this word, but I think I've seen it somewhere before. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Are there other places we can go? I Maybe. wonder. Maybe. Mm, let's see. <laughs> what? You seem cross about that one. Oh, maybe that's the door to the outside. Oh. Maybe that's no. And the other might be yes? Maybe? Uh. Mm. Mm. It's just the... I could see no being what that, uh, like, means. It's that exclamation that makes me think it might be no. Yeah. I like, like that thought. Like, they're going, no! Don't go outside! Yeah. Yeah, and I like that. I like that thinking. I like thinking that we might come up with a completely different story than another person because we are dictating the meaning of their words yeah. in a weird way. It's really cool. This is the only place we've seen that word. Okay. Sometimes there's a little yellow dot on screen. Is that just that, highlighting which word we're looking at? That is highlighting um, which, like, uh, that's usually like uh, listing how many occurrences there are. In that case, it's one, so it's just the oh. one yellow dot. Sometimes there'll be multiple. Like, in, if that's right. If we've Sorry. seen this word several places and it's just the one time, uh, maybe there's another one we've seen multiple. Yes. So we're switching back and gotcha. forth between these two. Yeah. yeah. 
Yes or no? Oh, that's not yes. That's or a no. different one. But from where? Hmm. Maybe now that she's here with us, click on the flower vase on the table. When I try to leave the house, I get stopped. But why? Oh, maybe it's not no, maybe it's stop. Could be stop. I like I like no as the idea, but like that's we'll uh keep that in mind as well. Plant. Yes. Mm -hmm. Is plant. Oh, the mirror. Oh yes. Click on us. Hmm. Where have we seen this? If anywhere. Nowhere else. Okay. Huh. Broken? Or mirror? Could be, yeah. Or reflection. Yeah. That mm. could be. Too many possibilities. Yeah. Too vague. Mm. Can't leave the house. So... I mean, the thing we could do the most with was the plant room. That's true, Since... yeah. That's the only one that got us something, like, interactive. Yeah. Uh... And did I click on the book before? I don't think I did. Does oh, wait. the book give us anything new? Book, book, book. Okay, yeah, that's book. Oh. That's totally book. just book. Book, 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 book. Book, book, book. Book, 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 book. Book. Heck yeah. We got our word. Um, how about clicking on the cup then? Container for what? Water? Drink? Mmm. Drink. Because the other word also includes the little red jars in the science room. Yeah, the other word. Yeah, that's interesting. The only one thing that's different between these is uh, that on this screen, it's the mug instead of the uh, red yeah. containers. I think it's a drink container, but I, I could be wrong. I like that thinking. Whereas the other one is more like a jar. Is the, like a... the container itself. Yeah. yeah. I like that. It seems odd to have two words to mean cup. Like to have to say two things to mean cup. But. That is true. What if. Container. Mm. What about this? Where have we seen this? Oh. Book, Book? container. Book container. Hmm. What if you click on the, um, the pipette? The that's not the right word, but this the, thing. Yeah. Yeah. That's not a container. Maybe they're talking about the stuff inside it. Oh, oh hot, hot. Oh, it could be hot. Yeah. Well. Hmm. Maybe we should try clicking on the flames in the science room. Maybe, yeah, that's good thinking. Uh, and also, okay. Uh, also this. Fire. Fire, fire, fire. fire. Okay, fire. yeah, that's definitely fire, fire or hot. <laughs> yeah. Yay. Or yeah, maybe hot. Fire slash hot. Cool. Now we can say you're hot. We can say their name, and we can say hot. Or you're on fire. <laughs> or I want you to be on fire. We should really learn a little bit more about the structure of the language before we try to assert something. Because <laughs> pointing and then saying fire or hot could really mean a lot of things, depending on context. <laughs> and I'd love to not leave that up to interpretation. <laughs> so you're saying if I point at you and go, fire, fire, you won't get the idea? I'll have, like, I'll think, well, that could mean one of several things, but <laughs> it seems like there's a lot clearer ways to say all of them, so I'm not really sure <laughs> why this specific means of communication. Fair this enough. A weird looking one. What is this? It is just that. Okay. Hmm. Is there any... So we're getting pretty uh, toward the end of episode time here. Is there anything else that we want to look at or try? Before we, uh... What's the thing above the fire that's big and round? Can you click on oh, that? Oh, yeah, what is this? Okay. Is what? It's that. Okay. Obviously. <laughs> and nothing else. Well, jeez, I should have known. Um, clock? Time? Anything? 
Hmm. The jars. Huh. Hmm. Weird. What are the other words? This is a neat little puzzle. This is so cool, yes. Oh, there's a lot of things. Yeah, that's Time. the word that I'd noticed a lot of. That thing. A calendar, maybe. Like um, that stuff over there. Stuff that grows. Something in conversation. I wonder if that is something like understand. Mmm. Because, like, she's... It's in several places where they yeah. say it. It's in several places, like... This is the real... No, this is them saying uh, understand as well. This might be also, like, for... Boof. Hmm. I'm not sure. What's the other... Huh. Hmm. It's like outside. Or... Yeah, this is a <laughs> combination of ideas that I can't quite parse yet, but... Yeah. Neat. Maybe we should stick to two word... Ideas? Yeah. Because they're a little bit easier to sort of pick apart right now. Oh, time pass. Oh, maybe that's what clicking on the clock does. Click clock. Woods. Could oh, also just be... that's why that came to mind. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Could also just be a literal, like, uh, just real time as time passes, like, uh, as we're just clicking on stuff. Yeah. Or the number of things we click on. Mm. Try the papers that are just sitting loosely on the shelf. I'm assuming this is just chair, yeah. This one, I, I think don't is... know. I haven't clicked it's on the, the other chairs, time. but yeah. I'm going to assume chair. <laughs> or sit. Or, or that. I don't know. Is there a question mark? Definitely question mark. Uh, no, but... no. When they say it, is oh. there a question mark? Good point. No. There is no. So... Yeah, they're probably telling us what it is. Yeah, the stack of papers on the fourth shelf down. Hmm. I don't know. It just looked different from the books. It is of interest. And it's also... a word that's popped up... For the book we write in. Yeah. Huh. Mm. What's the other oh. one? Also use Also this there. and Is that highlighting the photo? I wonder if that one's just I think that might just be a point of conversation. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I think like uh maybe in the top I notice like it says recalling and also has like uh sort of a little dialogue bubble box at the top of the screen for this one, whereas for these other two it's pointing to like an object. I'm wondering if uh, if that means, that means that it was part of something that they we were, were saying. Talking about. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. Neat puzzle. Very. These oh. look like newspapers. I don't think I'll be able to read anything other than the headlines. Which one should I choose? Ooh. Uh, newspaper on the right, middle, or left? Um. All of them. We'll average it out. <gasps> Ooh. There's hmm. our name. Yes. Interesting. I wonder if that's us. That would make a lot of sense. Where else have we seen this? I don't think I was taught this word, but oh, I've seen it. It's oh, it's on okay. top of the what we think might be a calendar. Oh, okay. So that might be a date along the top of the paper? That could be. Is it same with the... Yep, probably. Interesting. Okay. Uh, okay. A boat. Boat. What's this a boat? It's a boat mystery! We're home! <laughs> Another boat mystery. Ah, we're prepared. Hmm. What do we know of this? Uh, oh! It's nighttime. Oh, yeah. I'm wondering if they're wondering if, like, it's, like, something about, like, where or where we came from or something like that. Oh. Uh, or the boat. Uh, hmm. 
I don't know. I don't either. Do I have enough time to look at the last one? A sinister figure. In shadow. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't either. There's so much to this. There is quite a lot. And I'm so, so, so curious to see. Definitely more than we will be able to achieve today, sadly. For sure. <laughs> this is really neat, though. It was a bit... Um, I can't think of the right word. Bold of us, I guess, to assume we could learn the language. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. In just one sitting. Yeah, yeah, but still, though, really neat. So if y'all have enjoyed this, if this looks like something you'd like, again, it is available on uh, Nintendo Switch on the eShop. There's a link down in the description if you want to go and uh, check it out for yourself. It is also available on Steam and on mobile. Uh, thank you very much to the folks uh, at Lizardry uh, for getting us uh, a key to this and sponsoring this episode. Um, and thank you all very much for watching. Carrie, thank you very much for joining me because this would have been a lot harder solo. <laughs> Heck yeah. You literally could not have kept me away. No, oh, well, I'm glad. <laughs> like, I would have been sitting in the corner yelling at your microphone stand. <laughs> That's true. I, it's just as well I got out two microphones before we started in either case. Or, I guess, putting pink text up for every guest that I have said here. <laughs> or that too. Oh, good. I saved you some trouble then. Yes. In the edit. <laughs> Deeply appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, thank you uh, all so much for watching. I uh, hope you've enjoyed and uh, we'll see you tomorrow for something else. Take yeah. care and goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.